Welcome to Joystick. In this video, you will learn slicing in Python. Slicing is a feature in Python using which we can access parts of strings, lists, or tuples. I have tried to cover the concept in depth by providing a lot of examples and I want you to go through each one of them carefully. So keep watching this video till the end. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then do it right now if you want to grow in Python and become an expert. And don't forget to hit the bell icon as well as that way you won't miss out on any of my videos. Now let's understand what the word slicing means in Python. So like I told you, slicing is a feature in Python using which we can access parts of strings or lists or tuples. In arrays, by using the index, we can access a single item. But using slicing, which is a concept exclusive to Python, we can access multiple items or a sequence of items. There are two ways in which the concept of slicing works. So if this is my string slicing, then way one to perform the slicing is this. And way two of performing the slicing is this. Note that these two ways will give you the same result. Now let me tell you what these numbers over here mean. So the syntax of v1 is uh, str within square bracket start colon star. Clearly the start here represents the starting index and the stop here represents the end index. In our example, it is two colon six. So the slicing will begin from here, that is index two, and will end at index five. Yes, you heard it right, index 5, because the stop index is not included. The character at the stop index won't be included as a part of this slicing operation. So this entire substring, which begins from index 2 and uh, ends at index 5, will be printed as a part of this slicing operation. Now the syntax of v2 is str within square bracket start colon stop colon step i just explained the start and the stop over here so they hold the same meaning in this syntax as well but what does this step variable do this step variable represents the increment value between each index so in this example the step is one start index is two and the stop index is six which means the slicing begins from here and moves in step of one till this stop index which is five not six if the step had been two then the slicing would have begun from uh, this index and have incremented in steps of two which means that the next value picked after i would be i and not c you can see the result over here. All this which I explained just now is the indexing syntax. We can also perform slicing using the slice constructor. I'll directly tell you how to do slicing using slice constructor when we do the examples. In fact, why don't we move to doing the examples and start having fun? I'm going to do all the examples in the terminal because that way it is going to be really easy to explain. When you are practicing individual syntax, then you can also use the Python prompt to practice. If you don't have Python installed on your machine, then you can watch this video in the I button at the top. So I'll first start with a list. I have created this list, which has these elements, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's first start with printing all the elements of this list. How am I going to do it? I'm going to simply write print. Within brackets, I'm going to write li and within square brackets, I'm going to write colon. Close the brackets and then hit enter. There you go. Using slicing syntax, we can print all the elements of the list in this way. Let's move to the second example in which we are going to print all the elements, including and after a specific index. So if I want to print all the elements that start at index four, and go all the way till the end of the list. Then I'll write print within brackets li, then the square brackets four, colon, brackets closed, and hit enter. You can see that the elements, including and after the index four, have been printed on the screen. 
Now in the next example, we are going to print all the elements before a specific index or position. So if I want to print all the elements before index 5, then I'll write print within brackets, I'll write li and after the colon, I'm going to write 5 brackets closed and hit enter. There you go. All the elements that exist in the list before the index 5 have been printed on the screen. Note that the difference between the previous example and this one is that in the previous example, the element existing at index 4 also got printed. But here, all the elements before index 5 got printed. So index 5, the element at index 5 was not considered. This you have to mind. Now let's say I want to print all the elements that start at index 2 and end at index 7. That means I want to print all the elements from 3 to 8 from this list. I can easily do it using the slicing syntax. So I will write print within brackets I'm going to write li and then within square brackets I'm going to first write index 2 because I want to print all the elements that start from index 2. Now after colon I am not going to write 7 because if I write 7 then the element at index 7 will not be included by the slicing syntax. So instead of index 7 I'll write 8 and close the brackets. Now this syntax should print the elements from 3 to 8. Let's check by hitting enter. There you go. All the elements from 3 to 8 have been printed on the screen. Now I want to print all the elements in steps of 2 from this list. That means I want to print 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. I can easily do it using slicing syntax. To do it, I'm going to write print. Within brackets, I'm going to write li and within square brackets, I'm going to write two colons and then I'm going to write two. Close the brackets. Note that there is no start index, there is no end index, but there is a step value. Since we want to print all the elements in steps of two, like we learned in the slide earlier. Now let's hit enter and check the output. There you go. All the odd numbers have been printed or all the numbers from this list in steps of 2 have been printed. Now let's say if you want to perform the slicing of elements in steps of 2 from the reverse. That means if you want to print elements like 10, 8, 6, 4 and 2. To do that you will have to write print within brackets li and within the square brackets you will again write two colons but instead of two you will write minus two yes minus two that is going to print all the elements in increments of two from the right hand side of the list so i hit enter and there you go elements are printed like 10 8 6 4 and 2 now I want to print elements in steps of 2 from index 2 to index 7. To do it, I will write print then within brackets li and now I'll give a start index so it is going to be 2. After colon, I'm going to give an end index since I want to include the element at index 7. Hence I'll write here 8. And after colon, I'll write 2 because I want to print all the elements in steps of 2. Brackets closed and I hit enter. So you can yourself check the start index is 2. So 3 will be printed. And then after 2 steps, we have 5. So 5 is printed. And after 2 steps, we have 7. And then we have 9 at uh, index 8, which won't be printed because it won't be included. Now, if someone asks you to print the entire list in reverse using slicing syntax, then you can do it by simply writing print within brackets li, then within square brackets to colon, and then you simply have to write minus one 
as the step index brackets closed and hit enter there you go the entire list has been printed in reverse order if you are still watching this video then you are already getting good at slicing as you learned a lot of examples of slicing using indexing syntax i should say that this syntax will apply to a string as well to perform the slicing operations on it why don't we do some slicing operations on a string in fact this time you are going to learn how to do slicing using the slice constructor another way to impress the interviewer in your next python interview using slice constructor you will create a slice object which you'll then use to perform slicing you can create an str variable similar to mine and initialize it to a string of your choice i have chosen slicing as my string so i'll first write the name of the object uh, i'm going to write sl as the name of the object followed by an equals to sign i am going to write slice and within brackets i am going to pass 5 as the number now this 5 that i have passed is the end index that means i am telling python to slice of all the elements before the index 5 from this string when i am going to use this sl object so let's use this sl object so i am going to write print and within brackets i am going to write str and within the square brackets I'm going to pass SL, which is my slice object. Let's hit enter. You can see that all the characters before index 5 have been printed on the terminal. Now, let's extract the substring lysin, L-I-C-I-N, from this string. To extract a lysin from this string, you will have to first create a new slice object. So let's create it. I'll call it SL1 followed by n equals to sign. I'm going to write slice constructor syntax. And now I'll have to mention the start index first. So L starts at index one. So I'm going to write one after which I'm going to write comma and my end index is going to be six because I have to include N and it is at index five. Therefore, I'm going to write six and I'm going to close the brackets so my object is created let's use this object to extract our substring so i'll write str and then i'll write sl1 brackets closed i hit enter there you go the substring has been extracted now let's uh, try to extract a subsequence s double i g from this string so for that you will create another slice object for better clarity so I'm going to name it as SL2. You can name it whatever you want and then you'll write slice and uh, within the brackets you'll write none for the start index. None again as the end index since we do not have any index to specify we are considering the entire string. Hence I am using none as the start index as well as the end index and this syntax is very much specific to slice constructor and uh, as uh, the step index i am going to mention two because i am interested in printing a subsequence which is basically constructed of all characters being read in steps of two so i am going to create my slice object after hitting enter and then i am going to write print within brackets i am going to write str and then i am going to make use of this slice object i hit enter and there you go i have my subsequence let's move to our final example of printing this entire string in reverse using slice constructor so for that i'll create another object i'll name it sl3 sl4 and then i'm going to write slice i'm going to write none none again as the end index and then i'll write minus one and this is my object created now i'm going to use print str and i'm going to use this slice object sl3 let's hit enter and check what's the result you see the entire string slicing has been printed in the reverse order all right this was the last example of slicing believe me if you do all these examples that i have told you in this video then you are going to get very good at slicing and of course you will have to practice more 
to be an expert in it. If you enjoyed this video, then hit the like button. I look forward to helping you with Python programming. If you have any questions related to slicing, then do post your questions in the comment section. If you want to grow in Python and become an expert, then do subscribe to my channel Choice Tech if you haven't done it already. And only for this video, goodbye and take very good care of yourself.